Hello, my name is Matthew Oakley uh, from South Korea. I'd like to use this video to explain who I am and why I created the Facebook group. I was born in England in 1967. Uh, when I was 12 years old, I heard the gospel for the first time and I received Jesus Christ as my Lord and Savior. And ever since that day, Jesus has been my hero. Uh, I love him and uh, I want to serve him. When I was 16 years old, uh, I had a very strong encounter with the Holy Spirit. And after that, I began to experience some uh, supernatural gifts of the Spirit, like prophecy and word of knowledge and healing and things like that. I went to Cambridge University, where I studied ancient Greek and Latin. And afterwards, I went to live in northern France for about five years. Um, in France, I saw the Holy Spirit move in wonderful ways, uh, using gifts of the Spirit in evangelism, uh, leading people to Christ. And in France, in 1992, uh, God gave me a dream for the first time. Um, the dream was a revelation of Jesus Christ just about to return to the earth. Um, and there was a, an enormous revelation of his holiness and how different he is from everything that is on the earth because the earth is evil and dark and he is pure and light and so powerful. And it was a revelation of his holiness and power and authority. And in the dream, it seemed that he was going to return to the earth within just two or three days. And in the dream, I cried out to him and I said, Lord, please don't come now. If you come now, you're going to crush me. Uh, I need time to purify myself. So it was a tremendous dream and it really stunned me. Um, a short time later, I had a second dream. In this dream, I was in a, a small aircraft which landed somewhere in Africa and the pilot was the Holy Spirit and the pilot said to me do you know where this aircraft is going and I said uh, India and the pilot said yes but it comes here first so I always thought that at some time I would go to India and I would go to Africa but this dream kind of died because I went back from France to live in England in 1999 I went to the Bible College of Wales in Swansea and when I graduated from that Bible College I came to South Korea so I've lived in South Korea for nearly 20 years and as soon as I came to South Korea God gave me uh, a dream uh, about North Korea uh, and also about Japan so I've been preparing for nearly 20 years to do mission in North Korea and I never thought about India or Africa I completely forgot in fact about one week ago suddenly I had a flood of Facebook friend requests now normally I got maybe one friend request every three or four weeks but suddenly I got, I got 50 or 60 friend requests and all of these friend requests were from pastors in uh, Africa and uh, India, the Indian subcontinent. So Uganda and Kenya, which are next to each other in Africa, and then Nepal, Pakistan, and India. At first, I thought there was some mistake with Facebook algorithm, but I thought to myself, would well, these people deliberately pressed on a friend request? They wanted to friend me. And one morning, the Lord spoke to me very, very clearly last week. I think it was last Tuesday. And he said, lead these people. And I was really shocked. I didn't expect this. And I have been praying and I began to pray and to understand that uh, I have some revelation and some understanding about the times that we're living in uh, leading up to re the return of Jesus Christ. Uh, things that the Lord wants me to share uh, with pastors in, uh, in Africa, East Africa, and India. And now I understand the meaning of the dream. 
because you have to fly over India to get to East Africa. And as I was thinking, well, I must go on a preaching tour. And I thought, well, should I go to India first and then Africa? Or should I go to Africa and then India on the way back? And then I remembered the dream. Well, God already showed me in a dream nearly 30 years ago. So what I'd like to do is start sharing with you using uh, Zoom and Facebook. Uh, we can do online conferences and messages and, uh, and we can have fellowship together. And then sometime next year, perhaps early next year, uh, I will visit you, um, God willing. So uh, that, this is the reason why I created the Facebook page. The name Samphire is actually taken from a word that God spoke to me on the first day of Bible college in 1999. Uh, on the, the first morning, uh, I heard this word and it came like a word of knowledge. It was just the word Samphire. Over and over, God was saying Samphire. And then you are like Samphire. You are like Samphire. Actually, I didn't know what it meant. Uh, I had to look it up in a dictionary. Samphire is a salt-loving plant that grows around the borders of the Dead Sea. Um, and so I understood from this that I am the kind of person uh, who can not only grow, but actually thrive um, in dry places and places of uh, regions of death. Um, and the times that we're living in, we are now in the time of the beginning of sorrows, approaching the physical return of Jesus Christ. And there is going to be a lot of uh, death and a lot of panic in, in all parts of the world. And it's my calling not to live in a comfortable place like England or South Korea, but it's my calling to travel uh, and to go to difficult places uh, and, to, and to share my heart and to share what God gives me. Um, and so you are my friends in this journey and I want to share with you. And I, I look forward to doing that online and to seeing you, uh, hopefully sometime next year, God willing. So thank you for listening to this. Um, God bless you and see you soon.